。为打击零售盗窃犯罪团伙，周二，加州立法者与加州零售商协会、加州警察局协会等组织举行新闻发布会，为 AB 1 7 0 8提案争取更多支持。这项提案将允许对犯有两次或以上盗窃罪的惯犯以重罪或轻罪起诉。另外，有盗窃前科者将可能需要参加心理治疗方案，防止恶性循环。Californians are not feeling safe in their communities. A poll from UC Berkeley just last year indicated that 78% of Californians statewide. Uh, feel that uh, crime is rising. Assembly Bill 1708, which is a common sense fix to Proposition 47, to com combat rampant retail theft happening throughout the state in our communities. This bill is proposing a balanced approach to hold, to focus on repeat offenders, to hold them more accountable, while at the same time. Providing diversion programs, treatment programs like for substance abuse addiction, as well as mental health. 此前，加州选民于2014年投票通过第47号法案，将盗窃重罪重新归类为轻罪。According to the most recent data from the California Department of Justice, the annual total value of stole, stolen goods has grown 55 percent between 2014 and 2021. Police chiefs continue to see examples throughout California. Individuals arrested dozens of times without a change in behavior. This creates a problem for our communities, for our retailers, and for the public. 全国零售业联合会报告显示，零售盗窃案每年造成近三百亿美元的经济损失。专家发现，许多是由惯犯所为，加州尤为严重。AB 一七零八提案在周二的第二次委员会听证时没有通过，并被批准重新审议。新唐人电视台洛杉矶记者站综合报道。